And so joining me now from his lovely home in Leicester is the legendary Engelbert Humperdinck. Engelbert, how are you, sir? I'm good, thank you, Ross. Thank you very much. Welcome home. Thank you. It's nice to be home. It really is. Uh, aside from the weather, it must be, I, I don't know how it must feel coming from all that sunshine into all this <laughs> cold weather. Uh, I know, but you know what? Home is home, no matter what it's like. It doesn't matter, you know. Uh, I, I just, I just love being home anyway, you know. And uh, I know, I know we have great weather in California, but uh, uh, you have, you, you go where it's, uh, where you love, you know. And this is it. I love coming home. Home is where the heart is. That's what they say. <laughs> Can I just uh, take this opportunity to say a big, massive thank you for. Uh, you've, you've totally made my mother's day. Uh, in fact, you made a whole year when you invited her backstage uh, and oh. you came to Scotland. She still talks about it. It's, so oh. I can't thank you enough for that. And she's really looking forward to coming to see you again in Glasgow because you're coming back um, to, to Glasgow uh, later this month on the 24th of April. And yep. then you're, you're going to the London Palladium. Now, yes. just, mm -hmm. just the last time we spoke, you had, you had been awarded the MBE, but you only just received it this week. So uh, tell us about that, and, and do you have it with you? Yes, I do. Let me show you. came in a lovely box, you know. Oh, wow. And uh, there it is. Oh, man. How yeah. does it feel to actually have it in your hands? Fantastic. And, and uh, uh, Royal Highness Princess Anne was so wonderful. I mean... Uh, she made me feel so comfortable. Uh, I mean, it's it's such an honour to, to to receive, and you and it's so well deserved as well, Engelbert. You, you really do deserve it. So congratulations to you, and it's nice to see you actually holding it there in your hand. It's uh, something yeah. to take back home with you. You're going to need another suitcase to get that back, though. It's pretty big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been it's been very exciting few days for me, you know, since I've been home, and and, um, and now. Now we're getting out to the rest of the world, but through you, we're talking to somebody else, you know, and uh, uh, and a lot of people will see it, thank God, you know. And my life has been pretty exciting because, you know, well, one of my songs, uh, Man Without Love, has been, uh, it's, it's, it's been in the, in the Marvel uh, um, program, you know, with the, it was called, it's called Moon Knight. And yes. it's, the, yeah, and it's, played right at the beginning of the series, you know, and it's only just started. And it's uh, it's jumped into the Sh Shazam chart at number one, you know. <laughs> it's gone to number one. Oh, wow. I knew, yeah. I knew it was number two, and I didn't realise it had gone to number one. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, man. It's all happening uh, this year, isn't it? <laughs> it's so wonderful, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, it's like a tribute to my friend who wrote the lyrics, Barry Mason, who wrote many, many big hits for me, like The Last Walls. Les Bici Collect the Bell Size, you know, and um, um, uh, Love Is All and all those wonderful songs, you know. Um, Les Reed and Barry Mason were the pair that wrote those great songs in my early career. And um, now Man Without Love is doing so well, you know, and uh, I hear that they're going to use it more than just the opening of the series. It's going to be used a lot more in the series, yes. Oh, that's, that's fantastic news. And it's a great song. Uh, you mentioned the last time about how you walked in on someone who was singing uh, karaoke, one of your songs. Well, oh, my, yeah. my friend always sings Man Without Love. So uh, okay. John Harty, uh, Engelbert, <laughs> is number one again with Man Without Love. Just for Thank you. you. So, uh, yeah, well done. And uh, do you know something else I was reading in the news uh, recently uh, in Leicester? They're putting up a, a statue of, I don't think they've chosen who it's going to be yet, but... Well, there's a few names that are mentioned, you know, and uh, and I'm just I'm just grateful that they thought about my name and put added it to the list, you know, and whomever's chosen is is is, is going to be the fortunate one, you know. But uh, somebody will will choose the right person and uh, the, choose the person, and uh, you know, if I get if I get there, I get there, you know. It's uh, less just my love, you know. I uh, I you know I do everything for less all my charity, I bring all the charitable money you know, that I collect on the road uh, 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 abroad, I bring it back here to Leicester, That's, you know. 
who else is famous from Leicester? So Alex Jeffries is one of them, and but uh, he's such a lovely man, and uh, uh, he was the one who, who created the DNA, you know, in, in 1984, and uh, um, he might he might be uh, you know be chosen, and he, he's he's he deserves it too, you know, he really does. A fantastic honor again. A statue yeah. that would just top it all off. The MBE number one, a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long as they mention my name, I'm just happy about that, you know, that they've even considered me, you know, thank you. They just need to remember and say MBE at the end. Now, what? Engelbert Humperdinck is a mouthful as it is. Now we have, to, it's even longer now. Engelbert <laughs> Humperdinck, MBE. But that's well, got a nice, a nice ring to it. I'm just grateful that yeah, I've got something behind my name because, you know, there's two Engelbert Humperdinks, you know, it's the, the original where I took the name from, you know. Uh, but he, he never had any golden platinum albums. <laughs> and, and now we can distinguish between the two of you now. We know which is which now. <laughs> but I, I, I'll give you a quick glimpse of the ones I, the albums I keep in, in, in Europe. Okay. Can I turn this screen around and show you them? Sure. Sure. Okay. Please do it again. I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you uh, uh, the, the room. Okay. The, can you see them? Oh wow! Let's and those and those are pictures of all the ma major stars that I've been involved with over the years, and uh, that's just that's just the European albums. Really, that's, that's incredible. Just, yeah, that's just the European albums, and uh, I've lost you now. Uh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, um, and those are just the European albums. The the, the world and, the, and American albums and. And a lot of the, the ones that um, I got from around the world, like Australia and Japan and everything, are in my home in LA, you know. Uh, it's, and the room is as big as this one, maybe a little bit bigger. And it had, it's just covered in albums, and I'm so thrilled with, you know, I'm so proud of it whenever I walk down there and see them. A lovely treasure trove to have, and it's all those memories are great to have. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a big archivist. Myself, you know, um, you know, I'm a big fan of Laurel and Hardy, and I like to keep um, special. You know, I've got lots, a big collection of memorabilia that I like to keep and uh, and build up over the years. And uh, but to have all that stuff, and it's you, <laughs> it's you, and everything you've done, it's so special. And and you know, I mentioned Laurel and Hardy there, and and so, somebody I wanted to ask you about was uh, friendly with Stan Laurel. And he was friendly. He was one of your friends, Jerry Lewis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and Jerry yeah. used to call you Jerry, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he always used to call me Jerry because I did used to do an impression in my early years, you know. And uh, when when uh, I never had any hit records, and in order to get work, I had to do impressions. Uh, well, I had to because you know it sort of was was. Um, no hit record, so impressions had to come into view. And I did a good one of him, you know. The, Don't uh, have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, such, you know, J Jerry was a genius, in my opinion, you know, a comedy genius. Uh, oh, yes, he was, and yeah. I think he was very underrated. Um, a lot to do with his temperament, I think. A lot of people didn't understand Jerry, um, but you have to be tough to get to the top, basically. Um, but you knew the man. What was it like off stage? Oh, he was, he was a nice guy. He was a yeah, very confident man, you know. He was very confident. Uh, but he, he, he liked me. He liked me a lot. You know, it depends who, who, who he spoke to. It depends, you know. Uh, being a, a genius, you know, these people are... are, are there's a halfway mark, you know, between genius and craziness, you know, and the, and he was that guy. He was a, a genius, you know, uh, but it, he could he could be crazy if he wanted to, you know, and uh, make people laugh in that respect. His partner, uh, Dean Martin. Well, Dino Dino was just a great great guy too, you know. But and I made I was closer to Dean than I was Jerry, um, because I used to dine with Dean quite a, quite a number of times, you know. And, in LA, and um, uh, he never, as I think I said this to you before, he never called me Engel or Ange or Engelbert. He always called me Humpy Bumpy Lumpy Dumpy, you know. 
<laughs> and uh, his nicknames for me, you know, and uh, I, I just, I adored him. Yeah. Now you're uh, you're coming back to the stage where all these stars have played the Palladium. Uh, you must be looking forward to that. Well, you know, the, that's the place that started my life. It started my life way back in in '67, and I was fortunate enough to get get that program because release was lying on the shelf for three months, and it it, it was you know it didn't get anywhere. And then all of a sudden they do Sunday night for the London Palladium and they just jumped into the, the charts the very next day because it was selling like 80,000, 90,000 and went up to 127,000 at maximum per day, you know. And th those sort of things don't happen in today's world. And um, I was very fortunate to be living in that era when, uh, when these beautiful golden platinum albums were uh, available. Now you don't, you get them, but... <laughs> the little CDs, you know. Yeah. That, now, yeah. We have we have lots of people watching right now from around the world, all over the world. Is there anywhere? I know you've played in every corner of the globe, but is there anywhere you haven't played you would like to play? Well, I I I don't really know. I I, I have played in a lot of places around the world, you know, uh, and. Uh, no, I, I, I don't. I think Italy. I've never played in Italy. <coughs> Excuse me. I never played. I'd like to play in Italy because, for the simple reason that a lot of my 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 songs that were hits are all Italian melodies. They're all Italian melodies, you know, and uh, including "Man Without Love." "Man Without Love" is an Italian melody, and then there's uh, the way it used to be. Italian, you know, melodies, and it was just amazing. I'm, I'm, uh, which one is the other one? Uh, there's so many that, that I really can't think of them right now, but but there's so many Italian songs that were converted into English lyrics and were hits for me, you know, and so I'm grateful for to the Italian people for uh, giving me those beautiful melodies that have created my career and, uh, and made me who I am today. And, and before you come to the Palladium, you're, you're doing a night in Glasgow on the 24th of April. Uh, do you have any fond memories of Glasgow? I know you have family who are Scottish. Yeah, I, yeah, um, I don't know whether we still have family, but you know, my, my sister married a Scotsman, you know, and uh, 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 he was the one who taught me how to have that Scottish accent, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He was very, he, you know, like a real accent. He had a real accent. And, and I, I used to love listening to him, you know. Did you ever wear a kilt? Pardon me? Have, have, have you ever worn a kilt, a Scotsman's kilt? No, I kilt? haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, no I haven't. Um, no. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to have a word with Alan. I whisper in his ear and try and set one up for you for Glasgow. What do you think? <laughs> Uh, put a kilt on. Uh, um, well, you know, it, it would be an experience. I would love it. You know, and uh, I think it's it's great. I think it looks great. You know, very, <clears throat> very uh, patriotic. Yeah. Just maybe not in this cold Scottish weather. Maybe not oh. the time for a kilt. <laughs> no. Uh, let me tell you though. Uh, is is it going to be cold when I get there? Well, you know, I, I have to be honest with you. Last week I was going out to the car. And it was sunny outside. I put my sunglasses on. Oh, this is this is true. Put my sunglasses on, uh, and I got my, my t-shirt on. By the time I got to the gate, it was snowing. <laughs> it was snowing. <laughs> no joke. Last week. God. That's the uh, Scottish spring. So it's pretty. But I mean, what, 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 what's the weather like in Leicester at the moment? It's pretty much the same, I think. It's overcast right now. It's overcast. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty similar the weather uh, that you guys get down there. But um, but um, I'm sure. Uh, how long are you going to be in the country for, Engelbert? Well, I'm 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 here now till the tour starts, and I and the, and that's I think sometime. Is it at the end of next week? Mm -hmm. In the end of next week, I think it is. We make a start. We're going to Prague first, you know, 
And, you know, um, I've been to Prague before. I, uh, I've worked, uh, I've never worked there, but I, I went there to record some tracks, you know, some musical tracks. They have great musicians there, absolutely first class, you know. And, um, and a lot of people go there to record because of, of the quality of musicians, you know. I, I, I'm praying because when I do my concert, you know, everything's in English. I, I'm not going to, I don't know their language at all. And uh, um, I'm grateful to them for being able to, uh, to understand uh, the, 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 you know, the British uh, uh, way of speaking. Yeah, it makes life so much easier for us as well. Yeah. And now, um, before we, we let you go, Engelbert, uh, um, I, I just want to say again to all the fans who were looking forward to seeing you um, last year, but but sadly you, you took ill, and it's the first time ever uh, in yeah. all those years of performing that that's happened to you. Um, but the fans are so looking forward to coming back now and, and finally getting to see you live. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm so looking forward, and I, and I hope everything goes well this time. You know, uh, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to stay indoors as much as I can so I don't go out and catch anything, you know. <laughs> you don't still wearing masks in Scotland, are you? Yeah, in Scotland, we, it's still mandatory in Scotland. Oh, is it? Still, yes. Oh. They just announced it this week that it's still mandatory in Scotland. Yeah. But, but um, the, the theatres have relaxed a bit with it. Um, uh so I'm not quite sure um, whether I think it's events with with lots of people there that you yeah. have to, you have to wear a mask. At. But, yeah. it, but you know it's better safe than sorry, isn't it? It's, be, it's better yeah, to be safe. Sorry, yeah. The only the only thing is you can't see them smiling or you can't see them doing that. You know you have to just see the make sure that you can see smiling eyes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can assure you, Engelbert, there's lots of smiling faces behind those masks and it's all for you because you've brought so much happiness over the years and it's great to see you looking so fit and so well and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing the show when it comes to Glasgow on the 24th of April and also good luck with the show on the, the, the following day, the 25th of April at the L London Palladium, the capital of all theatres. Thank you, thank you very much. Always good to see you, Engelbert. Thanks for taking the time to chat to us today. Uh, my pleasure. I'll see you in okay. Glasgow. Take care. Bye-bye now. Indigo Unified's communications are a Glasgow-based communications business. We specialise in business IT contracts, hosted telephony and business mobile contracts. The strength of our business is the ongoing support offered to every customer. Telecoms now are the most important part of any business and proactive support is key to ensuring that these services work properly and avoid downtime for users. Indigo work with customers all over Scotland and we are involved in many sporting and charity events. Watch out for the Indigo branding in the Scottish Premiership. Indigo Unified Communications making IT easy.